Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, nice to meet you. My name is Tilly. Um, this is going to be one of the regular videos, something similar to the, um, the ones I normally do here on my channel. Um, if you're interested in the kind of topics that I am, um, I obviously I'm going to be sharing today and the ones that I've already got on my channel. Listen, I recommend you subscribe, okay? You don't want to miss out on all the goody goodies that I'm going to be sharing on here. Um, I recently posted a vlog and I posted something about dealing with lack and hardships. I think those two videos are great videos and you really should be watching them just to get some perspective on some of the things that I've come to know. Um, this video, as you can tell from the title, is um, how to deal with ooh, <laughs> the season, okay? Um, yeah, basically yeah i've just been thinking about some of the things that i've been trying to do in the last few days now that um we have been advised to isolate socially um or distance ourselves socially okay the uk is not in lockdown yet um as at the point of um, this recording this video but um there's still a lot of you know panic buying and you know social isolating and a lot of places are you know gradually shutting down so i just thought i'd give you some of these ideas and tips that i've been using so far just to keep my head above water really i don't want to get too bored too quickly because oof 12 weeks four weeks 12 weeks eight weeks 12 weeks ish they're expecting you know this whole thing to go down that's going to be a long time for me and i need to just i don't know keep afloat and just keep myself steady otherwise i'm going to yeah, I will be smiling in the next videos and I don't want that to happen. So yeah, I'm going to give you these tips. If you find them useful, obviously implement them. You will see a difference only by you doing these things and implementing this like every other thing. Don't just watch it and be like, oh, girl, or clap for me in the comments. Not just that. Go and implement the things that I've asked you in this video to try and to implement. I'm not asking you to do all of it, obviously. And um, if you can do one or two or three. <laughs> It will be super helpful to you um yeah first thing i'm gonna say is start praying okay one of the first things you can do about this whole thing that's you know of, i don't know escalating and you know getting a bit out of, out of control of man is to start praying i don't want to get spiritual on you but this is a whole spiritual thing that is happening it's a shaking in the spirit that is um, unfolding and just unraveling and um only the strong, only the faith and people of faith and people who are aware of God or know their God will be able to stand in this season. So I just want to encourage you if you're a Christian out there, or even if you're not a Christian and you understand what I'm saying, that something is shifting. You need to understand that prayer is what will sustain you in this period. There's going to be a lot of curveballs that are going to be thrown your way. And I encourage you to be stay, to stay strengthened, stay faithful to God, stay prayerful, okay? So that your spirit is not just like shaking and, you know, your peace is not stolen and your soundness of mind is not stolen in this time, okay? Um, second point I'm going to say is um, take care of your body, okay? Take care of your health, take care of your eating and, in fact, your skin, your body, the temple of God that is yours, okay? Take care of your body, especially your skin, your face. Everyone's going to be eating junk food, snacks, whatever, 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 yeah? <laughs> Listen, take care of your skin. That's all I can say because, obviously, the truth is, Okay, this is a joke here. Yeah, you might find this funny or very rude, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, obviously, the hair salons are shut. The beauty salons are shut. People are just going to be stuck at home, not knowing what to do with their skin and their face and whatever else you know, they've got to maintain up here. You will get carried away with the eating, but make sure you don't get, you don't damage your skin in the process, you know, getting crazy with all these things. And obviously, naturally, your, the hairs on your face are going to grow. You can't do <laughs> demo planning and all of that stuff. So just take care of your skin in the meantime, yeah? Um, I know people are going to be offended with this, but I said it anyway. Please take care. Your skincare routine, keep it keep it going every single day. Don't get too relaxed. Use your toners. Use your cleansers, okay? Let's look sweet, all right, girls? Um, and men too. <laughs> you could look somehow some, somehow is all the barber shops are shut too but yeah um third point i'm gonna go straight into that spring clean your house keep your house where you abide uh, clean and sane like it's spring even like this is the best time to be like throwing old clothes away um washing your clothes properly making them smell nice ironing clothes being organized throwing away all the trash and the things that you, you know click collected over the winter time and autumn and winter time just get rid of some of the rubbish that you don't need and i mean i don't know if bin men's are going to be working but bin men are going to be working but yeah um 
it's all, I'm pretty sure you can still put bins out on certain particular days and yeah, they'll be collected so that your house is like clear and spacious and you can think clearly, okay? Um, yeah, just something that I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, fourth point is to try and read 10 books. Some of you have not read a book since 1928. If you were alive by then um like for a long time some people have not opened not even your bible okay like you've just left a lot of books just hanging and i'm gonna read it i'm gonna read it i'm gonna read it procrastinating and still haven't read it if you're gonna be at home like anytime beyond two weeks i recommend you try and read at least a book okay if you can read 10 books that would be great but the 12th week you should have read 10 books or even 12 books if you can it will be a great thing to expand your vocabulary. It will help you grow, help you, I don't know, just delve into another world while you're not, you know, while you're stuck at home. Um, and just open up your mind and just be introduced to new things. Try and read a book you would not normally read as well. Try and read um, books from other authors, like, you know, out of your own region. Like if you're used to European literature, try and read African literature. Try and read, I don't know. Eastern European literature or something or Chinese literature, something different, you know, just to get some perspective and to expand your mind a little bit. Um, fifth point is to try and write a book. This point may not necessarily be for everybody. If you're able to write, I think, and you've been planning, I'm going to write a book, I'm going to write a book. This is the time to write that book. Do not delay yourself any longer. Otherwise, you're going to, you know, get back into the rat race and, you know, life will start moving very quickly again and you will never, ever find the time. So, get ready bust out your laptops bust out your notepads whatever you need to write your journals and start writing when you get a topic just put some notes on your iphone or wherever or even while you're at home it's not like you're out you know i need to write it later just bust out your laptop and try and finish the very moment that you get the thought um yeah you might have a block here and there but it's still, it's still ideal to start writing rather than oh i'll do it later and then you keep missing all the information that you know the downloads that you're getting um Six points. Oof, my leg is killing me. <laughs> the six points is um, speak to it. Try and speak to extended family and parents for older people. Try and speak to your parents because they're isolated too, or they, you know, just with they're stuck with your mums and your dads. And um, try and talk to them in this time. Engage with them. Um, if you can do video calls, that would be great because um, it's it's not just enough to just talk over the phone um, after a certain time, especially now that no one is allowed to travel. Sometimes video calls, FaceTimes, WhatsApp video calls those are great it gets them i don't know it restores that friendship and that bonding relationships and that's a very i can't think of a, a, a more ideal time to do those kinds of things so yeah put those to use um the eighth um seventh point rather that i'm going to mention is watch your netflix listen use your subscriptions yeah <laughs> watch your netflix watch youtube watch hulu watch amazon prime there's content those are literally the only industries that have not been affected by this c word situation okay listen use your quarantine season properly try and watch as much as you can before you get back to work i'm not saying laser by and just you know watch all that or just be doing that you can do other stuff but try and i don't know engage social and see what's out there as well you know be in the know yeah um the eighth point that i'm going to mention is try and learn another language i want to say um apps like Babbel, um, Duolingo, there is a few other ones that I've got on my phone but I, I, I just can't remember off the top of my head so yeah try and find them or just download any um, language apps yeah any other ones that I haven't mentioned here so I've mentioned Babbel, Duolingo, I think there is, is it monthly or something like that I don't know um, don't quote me on that so yeah try and find those check online as well there are a few other ones that you can find and try and learn something it's, if it's French or Dutch or Spanish or Chinese you want to know listen this is your sweet spot this is the time make use of it before you get back to work here yeah, otherwise it's big for you um number nine um the ninth point I'm going to mention is to learn how to cook or play an instrument if you don't know how to cook listen God is giving you grace God is releasing <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to pray for you right now, but this is your time, especially if you're single, if you're married, and even if you're married and you don't know how to cook. Listen, talk to your girlfriends, talk to your boyfriends, even like the people that you know, family members. Get them to show you or teach you something. Even the people who live in the same household as you, I'm sure they can teach you some things. Take advantage of this time and learn how to cook something different. 
<laughs> I saw this post about somebody um, saying, right, this girl was just um, basically was saying about his girlfriend just um, making bear Alfredo for him here. <laughs> And then he was like, oh, I want to eat something different. And she's like, oh, I'm going to make a um, shrimp Alfredo for you, which is another type of Alfredo. So, yeah, please learn to make something different. Find another, you know, meal or, I don't know, something from another culture. Watch, you know, oh, God and Ramsey, all those people. Just try and learn something new, you know, in this season. And um, the last thing I want to talk to you about is to eat well. Well, we're talking about food, eat well rest well recuperating nicely i reckon by the time that people are out of this quarantine or self-isolation season people are gonna come out more beautiful with more fresher skin with more beautiful uh, manner and approach to people people are gonna be respectful people are gonna be more beautiful i do acknowledge that before that happens stress is gonna come in fear is gonna come in um tension is gonna come in a lot of things are just gonna try and choke the life out of you and to ch and choke your peace but listen if you're able to stand and if you're able to overcome this you're gonna come out even physically beautiful so let's not let's not um waste this moment and let's consume the right things physically spiritually socially whatever else um just be aware of yourself and these things that i've spoken to you about try and implement those like i said eat well eat healthy food don't eat junk okay <laughs> i have to say it with that face junk so you know that you're eating junk yeah um try not to eat junk rest well and just recuperate in a in a beautiful manner and i hope that the best can come out of you in this season despite what we're seeing okay um if you're not a person of faith this is an opportunity um just look out for, you know, sermons on YouTube, stuff like that. Listen out for, like, Instagram sermons and all the pastors and, you know, all the preachers who are going to take advantage of this moment to pre um, send the word of God out online. Look out for those things. It will help your life. It will improve who you are. It will renew your mind concerning certain things and concerning who God is. So, yeah, take advantage of that. And, yeah, listen, it's up to you at the end of the day. We can say all we can. Um, to you about this season we know what's um, online fear bad news bad news bad news but choose positive stuff try and implement some of these things that, like i said and hopefully by the time this whole thing is blown over has blown over um yeah we, we can come out smiling and you know come out all positive and excited about the life that is ahead so yeah like, as always i hope this video was useful to you um yeah I hope it was useful to you and as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.